Today I am bringing you with me to the coronation night of Mini Bini Filipinas 2023. I'm so excited. This is my very first Mini Bini Filipinas coronations, first time that I am attending the finals, and I am beyond excited because similar to the video that I filmed here just a few days ago about my Miss Universe Philippines experience, this is going to be the very first time that I get to attend this event in person here in the Philippines after years of covering the entire event, interviewing the girls, and so much more. Look like the host, the performance, and memorable night as back in the day and all of that. But here's the thing, Binibini Pilipinas will always be Binibini. They have the budget, they have the production, they have the quality girls. So I am beyond excited for this experience. Another surreal thing that is gonna happen today is that I am going to get to see in person Katriona Gray. I don't think I'll get to meet her per se, but I will see her for sure. And if you've been here for long enough, you know that my very first video about pageantry ever was about Katriona. A secret, like I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to look too much into, you know, social media and stuff. But I did see a little spoiler about the stage and it looks amazing. Some people said that they might even have some surprise crowns. So today is just going to be, you know, crazy, hectic. I'm just going to embrace the experience and go with the flow. But anyways, let me show you a little bit my outfit. So I'm going to go with all white on my shirt. Uh, the pants are gonna be, um, this is kind of like a beige tone that I really, really like. It's so clean and so I love the texture of this fabric. Um, so brown belt and of course brown matching shoes as well. Okay, and it comes as well with the matching suit that I'm not wearing just yet because of course it's way too hot here in the Philippines. Aren't we supposed to have like a typhoon? I don't really see typhoon weather look at the window i don't know what's going on but anyways i'm not complaining so anyways i'm gonna go get ready because my friends are gonna pick me up in a bit i'm going out to be meeting with the same people that i went to during miss universe philippines so it's gonna be a blast we're just gonna enjoy the experience we are gonna have dinner first and then we're gonna head to the venue so i'll take you along with me um you know what to do if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe comment all of those nice things and share with your friends i will see you in a bit with all of the shenanigans bye Hey guys, so we made it to dinner now. Say hello everyone. Hi Doc. Oh, oh hello. Hello for the vlog. Hello everyone. Say hello for the vlog guys. See everyone is ignoring me. Okay everyone say hello for the vlog. Hello. 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 We're about to start eating. I'm fresh. We. How to be you taking photos with the Miss International? I know, right? <laughs> my name is Jasmine. Jasmine. Oh my. Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we're just gonna eat now. Have some chica, catching up with the friends, of course, and then we're gonna head to the venue. We're already eating in a restaurant near Araneta. Chibo. Chibo. Okay. So we are in Araneta technically, right? Yes, it's Araneta. We're there, so have some pizza. It's my cheat day once again. <laughs> and then we'll take you to the event. At this point, I had cheat weeks. It's not even a <laughs> cheat day. <laughs> so if you know, you see me on the stage of Supra not looking like I'm supposed to be looking, then you already know why. <laughs> Okay everyone, so we just had our dinner. I haven't been vlogging too much because I've been distracted with all the chismes, chikahan. Uh -oh. uh, we're gonna head to the venue now. So this is where the real deal starts. Wait. Let's go. Say hello everyone. Hola. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines. Welcome to the Philippines. Hola. Mi nombre es Sida Lavinia. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Lo siento. Hello. Pero, hello. No hablan. Hello. 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 Oh. I know. Let's see I'm so lost. 
We made it to Araneta, guys! Hello! <laughs> okay, I need to take a photo. Not a photo, a video of this. Hi, how are you, my friend? <laughs> so, officially, after how many years? It only took me three years to make it here, but here we are. These are my girls. We got Catriona right there. Jasmine is right there. All the girls, the queens. And of course, my, my Skanda, for some reason, in the middle of the poster. We must stand. Cheers, Tita! Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Of course. Say hello for the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I mean, one of the take a video of this. I am Luis's um, videographer today. All right. Perfect. I'm supposed to video Luis. All right, go. Hey, Luis! <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. After this door, we are officially in first impression of the stage. The show is about to start. Super excited. The energy here is insane. People are yelling, screaming their lungs out. And Tita Woo! told me about this and she was not lying. <laughs> so different. Like right now if you see that there are vacant seats, it's only because of Filipino time. But yeah, this one is different. Different is. Oh my god. Are you ready? They say that there might be a chance that there are new crowns that have not been announced. Do you think it's accurate or?
We just had the first segment of the show, which is pretty much the introduction of the girls and the host, as well as the performance of um, Win Your Heart by Darren Espanto. I loved it. Tita was saying it's so, so gay. So we are enjoying, super, super, super enjoying the opening. Right, Doc? Enjoy? <laughs> and Catriona, oh my God. I cannot believe that Catriona is right there.
we're taking a quick break just to go out uh, and update the vlog. They officially had the announcement of the top 10. I mean, of course we're super happy for the girls. I'm surprised that there's a few girls who didn't make it. I was hoping for Gianna Yanis to make it. Also hoping for Rima to be there. So of course there are a few surprises, but I must say, when you look at the girls, you really see that they're all deserving, super beautiful, and of course, um, you know, deserving of their spots. Um, in all fairness, this year, because I've been preparing for Supra and so many things to do, I didn't have the time to really, really follow as much the pageant and get to know the girls as much as I normally do. So maybe that's why I'm a little bit surprised with some of the choices. But once again, it's not against any of the girls. It's just, um, I don't know, I was maybe expecting something else. Woo! Team to competition, guys! Oh! Okay, we fight the To announce the best in swimsuit. And this year, the best swimsuit Wait. is. Who is it? Who is it? Woo! Who is it? Best in swimsuit. Anna. It's Anna. 24 hour ballet. Ha, 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 ha. 
For me, it was her or Angelica Lopez. Or Angelica Lopez. One or the other. Right, yes. Right, right. Okay. Well deserved. <laughs> How do you feel? About <laughs> Interview time. So. How do you feel about the outcome of the best in swimsuit? Actually, I prefer her and Angelica Lopez. Okay, yeah. we agree on that one then. Yeah. Which one? Um, <laughs> what the <hell? laughs> Rooting us all. <always. laughs> At a time when project candidates pursue different advocacies, mini PD38, my question for you is, did you choose your advocacy or did your advocacy choose you? And why do you say so? I grew up with an underprivileged marginalized sector in the Indian Bataan, which is our indigenous people, Aitas. I grew up with them, I played with them, I even went to the same school with them. I even supported their education by producing laptop for the help of our LGU. And this advocacy did not choose me, because up until now, I work in a construction company. The indigenous people of Bataan is the heart and soul of my construction family, and I help Is it love or character? As the youngest member of the family, I have a very loving parents. My siblings, Ate and Kuyas, has instilled the value of love in me. So I was told that the world would hurt me. But I, I learned that in all aspects of life, we have to choose love. And I have learned that my love will always be bigger than all things, even if the world is hurting me. So I will choose love. Mr. 
Mr. Fiona Pascual. This is Schwartz, um, based on Simple But I want to be, dig deep into your character when you answer this question. What are you most unapologetic for when it comes to your personal values? What I am most unapologetic for is my authenticity, my honesty, my sincerity. My parents really instilled those values into me at a young age, showing me that you can accomplish anything in the world that you put your mind to, as long as you're loyal to who you are and who you are in your heart. And I really hope that I'm able to inspire other people standing on this stage, showing you that even though you may not fit the societal norm, if you are who you are, then you're able to show that to the world. because it's true understanding what's going on to our society that we will be able to know what to do yeah. and that should come for us clean and as well as to our leaders in our country. So again, for me, it is important that we can express our own political views without the people. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Beauty Queen Shaving in an interview. 
that removing the age requirement in the beauty pageants may delay a pageant's hopes in pursuing a dream. What are your thoughts on this? Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with increasing age limits within pageantry. This is because as women, we are here to be of service of the, of the people in front of us and the people that we conspire, we elect our vote to. And becoming a beauty queen, we are able to we are able to inspire a lot of people and be a vector of hope in order to pursue our advocacies. For example, I aim to pursue my advocacy in inspiring humanity in reducing inequality, inequality and in stronger peace institutions within. Thank you. Thank you. BB11. This is a very interesting question. Bibini number six. What makes you a Bibini who walks the talk and who is beyond mere self-promotion? Mm. I stand here tonight because it is my mother that instilled me the values and the morals that I'm using to be the woman that I am now today. A woman who has the strength, courage, and tenacity. The strength to decide for herself what she wants, really works hard to achieve it. To also have the courage to face any obstacles of life and tenacity to hold onto her wisdom of choice. And I believe it is always a dream come true to be here. And that is why I am a Bini Bini that I always meant to be. Thank you. Oh my god, Josh Cullen! <gasps> SB19, one of the members. Some observe that these are shallow and long-lasting connections. BBB16, what are your thoughts on this social situation we are facing now? As a public figure and as someone from ABS-CBN who gives service to the Filipino, what I believe is that in social media, it's not just connection, but as well engagement and touching other people's lives with the heart that you have, a heart of gold. And for me, my advocacy is for the children, Oi. the children who have been domestically abused. Oi, okay, and if yeah, I were to imagine to inspire them and see that you younger self of mine in the, in the mirror every single day, then I would do it another time, like it's my ultimate last chance. And I just really want to show everyone that with social media and every platform, you can still move people in the world. Thank you.
No bashing. Okay, um, my question is the dream of becoming a queen can literally be costly or expensive. Bini Bini 39. What are your sentiments on the high cost or expenses a budget candidate faces when joining a budget nowadays? Good evening. Coming to this pageant, I am weaponless, no experiences. This is my first national pageant. However, I am very happy that I always feel the love and support of my family, the people around me. And I am proud to say that I pursue this, and I am very grateful that these people show their love to me. And through that, I am capable and I am fearless. And because of that, I believe that dreams should not be costly because once we become fearless, our dreams become limitless. Alright, we're about to crown the new queens. Excited! <laughs> okay, here we go. Starting off with BB Filipinas 2023 second runner up. Who is it gonna be? It's me. <laughs> she is. Oui. Bini Bini. Oui. What did you say? Hello, what? Angelica. No. Bini Bini.